Preparing for a trip abroad used to be so straightforward, but now there are endless further checks to make. Travel restrictions to research, health forms to fill, apps to download, not to mention health and safety measures to put into practice. Put on your mask and join me as we head to one of the most iconic airports in the world. Hong Kong International Airport is one of the most important transport hubs on the planet. The busiest cargo airport in the world in 2019 has served more than 70 million passengers. Vivian Chung is the executive director of airport operations. We have done a lot since this uh, pandemic started. Uh, as you can see, first of all, you can see over here that all the counter are already installed with a, a screen to make sure that um, our staff are protected yep. from any potential uh, virus transmission. And that's one thing. We also, uh, later on, we will see quite a lot of robots walking around. It's an autonomous robot. You've yeah. been testing an antimicrobial coating. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. What is that? <laughs> okay, that's a transparent type of a coating that you cannot see it. Yeah. But you spray it through the surface, it will uh, kill the germ, yeah. uh, bacteria, or viruses uh, um, uh, with that coating. Yeah. Um, we actually spray uh, on the counter, on the, in the lift and the place that a uh, passenger might have a high possibility to touch. And what other technologies have you rolled out to ensure mm -hmm. people's safety and, and health? Okay, one thing that uh, IATA, IKO like advised that we should take this opportunity to implement more um, uh, contactless uh, uh, technology. Yeah, meaning touchless, that contactless, contactless, touch the contactless, you yeah. to touch anything. Yeah, and plus that uh, reduce the contact point. Uh, for example, if you look at this uh, uh, facial recognition kind of a security gate, uh, in the old days, there, uh, there was a um, security officer. You have to hand your passport and boarding pass. Mm. He will read, uh, his, uh, read your boarding pass and passport and match your face and hand the uh, boarding pass back to you. Mm. And there's a contact. Yeah. The potential to he'll pass something to you, you pass something to him, right? So with this, you actually stick your own passport and with your face, you recognize your passport and face and ma do a match. Mm. In fact, even more smarter than, than, than an agent uh, doing the match. All this talk of high-tech and intelligent robots sparked my curiosity. Naturally, I was very keen to meet the cleaning staff of the future. This is the intelligent sterilization robot, one of three currently in operation in public facilities here at the Hong Kong International Airport, including here in the ladies room. And these robots are not the only new arrivals at the airport. During our walk, Vivian told me about disinfection booths that have been installed. I went to meet the man behind Clean Tech. Sammy Tsui worked in the media before swapping to the sanitization world. It has proved to be a shrewd decision. Business is good because uh, you know all the people now is talking about sanitizing. We are facing a very critical issue and even for the airborne. And when we talk about travel, I do believe uh, for sanitizing it became a standardization and it applied to daily life. That's why I started to move on to apply our products into lifestyle. One of his products that is already widely in use is the disinfection booth where, after you enter it, an antimicrobial coating kills any viruses and bacteria attached to your body and clothes before you are sprinkled with a sanitizing spray. I'm curious, a little bit wary, but I'm curious, so let's try this out. Yes, please go ahead. So to enter, I have to pass a face scan. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm inside the clean tech booth. Wow, um, that, that was wild. You walk inside, you get a little bit of claustrophobia. You hear the tone, you feel a breeze, you feel spray all over your body, and then you're out. Um, perhaps this is the future of travel. But while robots and disinfection booths can offer reassurance to travelers, with new technologies, there is, of course, some skepticism as to how useful some of them actually are. 
Jin Dong Yan trained alongside the U.S.'s top coronavirus advisor, Dr. Anthony Fauci. He is now one of Hong Kong's leading disease experts. He believes that a vaccine is the only way to guarantee completely safe travel, but he hopes that some of the measures being introduced could help in the future. Do you think after COVID-19, will international travel be improved? Will it be actually safer or more healthy than before? I think uh, we might have a different norm. The status might be different, but indeed uh, it would be uh, safer. He thinks there is a lot to be learned from how other countries are dealing with the pandemic. It is international cooperation of another sort that could be another key to opening up travel. Travel bubbles would allow people to travel between destinations without the need for quarantine. Many countries have arrangements, but for them to work successfully, information must be given and shared. I talked to one of Hong Kong's leading privacy experts about whether he had any concerns about what it takes to open up these corridors. We need to follow the six uh, data privacy principles. Uh, so it's a collection and purpose means, uh, making sure that the information is accurate, uh, make sure that we don't retain it for a longer period of time that we need to, uh, make sure that we use it for the purpose that we're actually collecting it for, uh, make sure that we have the right type of security safeguards, um, the openness to make sure that we share what we're actually doing with the actual data and also allow the people to um, uh, correct the data if the data is actually not accurate. Some very good practical advice there from privacy expert Jason Lau. Now, after the break, we find out how a disruptor in the travel business is now being disrupted by the pandemic and turning it into a catalyst for innovation.